Hey, this is Nat, and we're off our couch on 30A. That's County Road 30A, a scenic drive between Panama City and Destin that consists of small and unique beach towns. Uh, 30A has a detour during our visit, so we didn't have the opportunity to drive on a lot of County Road 30A. Uh, we did have the opportunity to drive on 30A as we visited Seaside, Florida in our last video, a beach town founded on the environmentally friendly and community-driven principles of the new urbanism movement and it's also known as the primary filming location of the 1998 movie The Truman Show. Uh, the link to that video of our full experience in Seaside is in the description box and now we're back on County Road 30A and heading to another beach town, Grayton Beach. Uh, actually it's a beach village. <laughs> Last video I was talking about my confusion between a city, a town, and a village and I'm getting an example of it all on this week-long trip and adventure in Northwest Florida. Yes, this week here on the Emerald Coast has definitely been a learning experience and adventure and we still have another spot left to visit here in Northwest Florida. So be sure to subscribe and keep adventuring and getting off the couch with us. Uh, we would love that. We're always ecstatic when you all join us week after week so thank you. Uh, so we're walking around the shops of Grayton Beach right now. Um, parking is just across the street and then we walked over. Uh, this is really cute. As you can see, the businesses are located within quaint houses. Unfortunately, we're finding out that nobody is home though. <laughs> yeah, the majority of the businesses are closed. Uh, we're here on a Monday and our plan was to eat at Black Bear Bread Company, a bakery and a coffee shop, and they're closed. Uh, some places are normally closed on Mondays and some of the places that are listed as being open on Mondays are closed still. Uh, so maybe it's an all season thing, I'm not sure. Uh, we really would have loved to eat at one of these restaurants. Nambu Noodle Bar serves Asian style cuisine, ramen, poke, and sushi with a southern flair. Um, that sounds wonderful. For now, we're just going to enjoy what we can. Uh, some shops are open, including Surf Star, the souvenir and beach supply store. I dropped in to grab my obligatory souvenir, a shot glass. Of course, there's lots to choose from to commemorate your visit to Grayton Beach and drive on 30A and all of the supplies that you need for a fun beach day. Uh, while checking out, the friendly employee of Surf Star told us about the peak season and how packed it is here. So a full 180 compared to what we're experiencing now. I feel a return trip during the peak season. Um, during the summer or holiday is in order to get the full experience of this area. If you've been during the peak season or even during the off season, please share your experience with us in the comment section. Uh, we love the suggestions and information for our eventual follow-up visit. For now though, we're going to enjoy uh, what is available to us. Uh, there are art galleries that are open. We peeked in and that is always interesting and invigorating to check out art in our opinion. And what's cool about this beach village of Grayton Beach is all the art that beautiful the buildings. Uh, so there are large paintings, fun eclectic art, and photo opportunities to enjoy in this beach village. Uh, so now that we have our pictures and our souvenirs, uh, we're going to go ahead and head to the beach now, uh, Grayton Beach State Park. Uh, Grayton Beach State Park is nearly 2,000 acres. There is a cost of $5 per vehicle carrying two to eight people to enter the park, uh, $4 for a single occupant vehicle, and $2 for pedestrians and bicyclists. Uh, there is a part of the beach that is a drive-on that is for residents only and there are 59 camping sites and they're all equipped with water and electricity. Grayton Beach State Park also offers 32 bedroom, one bath, duplex cabins uh, suitable for accommodating six people. Each cabin has central heating and cooling, a kitchen stopped with the basic cooking utensils, a screened-in porch, and an outdoor grill. The gas fireplace is available on November through May. So many will say that the beach where we're heading now is the main attraction in this park. And then many includes visitors, locals, and scientists like Dr. Beach, a geoscientist and coastal ecologist who ranks the top beaches in the nation every year for the past 31 years. In 2020, Grayton Beach State Park had the honor of being number one on that list. Grayton Beach State Park was awarded this honor because of the mile of sugar white sand we're walking on right now, the stunning emerald green waters, and the immense sand dunes that are prominently positioned on the beach. Also, this beach is conveniently located near the dining, shopping, and other amenities of Grayton Beach and Seaside. Uh, but there's no need for me to discuss all of this. I'll just let the scenery disclose this beach's rich value for itself.
we're going to pull ourselves away from this astonishing view for just a bit um, but we're going to come back for sunset most definitely uh, i do want to explore some other features of this beach while we still have daylight another remarkable feature of grayton beach state park are the coastal dune lakes coastal dune lakes are a national phenomenon that are found in only four countries in the world and just one other state here in the u.s which is oregon the coastal dune lakes that are found in Grayton Beach State Park are Alligator, Little Redfish, and Western Lake. Uh, we're going to explore the Dune Lake Trail, which passes Western Lake. The trail will also take us through the dune ecosystem, along the salt marsh, and through the pine flatwoods. And here's the information, too, about the monarch migration. I mentioned in the Beaches of Destin video how many butterflies we kept seeing, especially at Henderson State Park. If you want to check that out, the video link is in the description box. I saw some butterflies at Seaside too. So as we walk Dune Lake Trail, we'll be on the lookout for butterflies as they're making their annual trip, the 3,000 mile journey to Mexico for the winter. Okay, so here we go, let's get started. Uh, this is a one mile trail. There's also a four and a half mile trail, nine miles round trip that can be hiked or completed on a bike. It takes you to the forest and around the back of Western Lake. Uh, and here's a butterfly already making a pit stop for rest and fuel. Up ahead, look at this entrance. These trees are incredible. Uh, I believe these are sand live oak trees. Uh, this is a very slow hike, full of stop, because there are so many photographers here taking family pictures. Because this backdrop, wow. <laughs> so we're stuck in a place waiting to pass and just getting creative with our cameras while we wait. Surprisingly, one of the photographers is a friend of my sister-in-law. Yeah, they used to hang out and work together in Austin, Texas. She moved to the 30A area and my sister-in-law is visiting from Austin and they got to see each other here at Grayton Beach. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Uh, next time we come, we're going to have pictures done by Hannah M. Photography. Uh, that's the name of my sister-in-law's friend's business. Uh, I'm going to include her information in the description box because this is a great idea. Hannah will capture those precious memories of your loved ones and friends all around 30A, including Destin. That would be so amazing and wonderful to have professional pictures and this gorgeous landscape. So a must do for our next visit. As we walk these trails, there are markers naming the plants we see and just information about the animals that live here as well. This park is a great place for wildlife viewing. The park is part of the Great Florida Birding Trail. The Great Florida Birding Trail is a network of over 500 wildlife viewing sites across the state. Since Florida is along the Atlantic Flyway, that's the 3,000 mile plus stretch from the Arctic tundra to the Caribbean. So during the spring and fall migration, Florida is blessed with the opportunity to see a vast species of birds. Here you're likely to see shorebirds, bald eagles, and ospreys. I've talked about the Great Florida Birding Trail in many of our other videos whenever we visit a state park actually. Uh, this park is also a good spot for wildlife viewing. The Florida black bear, white-tailed deer, gray fox, and other animals call this park home. We haven't seen any of those animals and I'm not disappointed about that, especially the black bear. Uh, so here we are in front of Western Lake, a hundred acre coastal dune lake. If you're like me, coastal dune is a new term and a coastal dune lake is fed from freshwater sources. The water can travel from the lake to the Gulf of Mexico and salt water from the Gulf as well as plants and animals can travel into the lake creating brackish waters. It's uncommon to have a lake alongside a beach and Grand Beach State Park has three including the Western Lake. A Western Lake is great for fishing, take advantage of the boat ramp to kayak, canoe, and paddleboard. There are also picnic pavilions available on a first come first serve basis. The pavilions right here offer a marvelous view of Western Lake. Uh, the trail has been a different and new experience and it's all been beautiful. I do have one bad thing to say about this trail, these spurs. Uh, I don't know if that's the correct scientific name, but I don't like these. And they're obviously not too fun to me because they have done a number on my feet. Uh, so be on the lookout because they're on the beach also. I imagine they get carried to the beach from the trail. So if you come walking or running onto the beach barefoot, um, definitely keep your eyes open for them. Speaking of the beach, we're going to tread carefully and head back now to enjoy the sunset. Uh, it's been such a lovely time here at Grayton Beach State Park, a wonderful time on 30A. Uh, these sunsets, my goodness, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> They're just so beautiful. And this is the last sunset we'll be enjoying for now in Northwest Florida. 
Our next video is our last stop in Northwest Florida. Uh, it's our day that we head back home, so we won't be here for the evening. We'll be in Fort Walton Beach for a day of exploration and fun. Uh, we're going to have dinner at Floyd Shrimp House and be tempted with the all-you-can-eat specials there. Uh, we'll also be exploring the beach and walking the pier. And I tell you, this is yet another stellar beach here on the Emerald Coast. So subscribe, come back, indulge with us. Thanks so much for joining us this video. Uh, thanks for getting on the couch with us here in Grayton Beach. Uh, I wish we could have seen more. Um, what we did see was novel, eye-catching, stunning as far as the beaches, lake, and the trail are concerned. Uh, give us your opinions, your thoughts, your experiences. I'd love to come back to Grayton Beach. Um, I'd love to come back, drive 30A, and see lots more. That would be wonderful. So please share your comments with us about Grayton Beach, Grayton Beach State Park, and 30A. If you found this video helpful, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you enjoy the music in the video, the information is in the description box about where you can find these tracks on SoundCloud and Epidemic Sound. As always, thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and sharing the videos. We really can't express our appreciation enough um, because without you all coming along for these adventures, it just doesn't happen. So thank you. Until next week, click on the video to see another one of our experiences. Thanks for watching.